Hello guys and welcome back to the channel definitely appreciate every single one of you being here today um, thank you very much for uh, watching and I do want to welcome our new subscribers guys thank you very much for joining the channel appreciate every single one of you thank you very much for being here with us today uh, we have five new subscribers guys yes we have five new subscribers uh, thanks to them they put us a 713 today as today we are 713 subscribers guys thank you so much uh, I can't thank you guys enough for supporting uh, following and subscribing to the channel definitely appreciate every single one of you um, without further ado we're about to take this Honda Tiburon with us uh, we're going uh, Hyundai because a lot of people have uh, told me it's not Honda it's a Hyundai a Hyundai Tiburon um, for some paint and some supplies because uh, um, <clears throat> we're running out of stuff and um, we've been using that paint uh, non-stop so let's go ahead and get the, some supplies up for us and uh, we got to get some paint for a new project but Without further ado, guys, let's get on with this video because we have a lot of work to do today. Vamos. All righty, guys. So we're out here today in the garage. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pick up our mess. Uh, you guys can see this table. It's a mess. Um, yeah, I've been under the weather for a little bit. <clears throat> I'm feeling a little better now. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get all this stuff that we have left here from fixing the team run out of the way as you remember the plastics and stuff we're supposed to put away we haven't done that so yeah we're gonna pick up the garage a little bit here today and uh, uh get it nice and cozy and clean uh for us to continue to do more work uh, but yeah let's get it clean up So we at least got one area clean, uh, wiped down the floor, everything. A lot of dust. Now that I started painting at the um, paint booth, uh, I have uh, not clean in here because I haven't had any need to. And there's a lot of dust that gathers around when you do sand work and uh, uh, body work and stuff. <laughs> Obviously, but I thought blowing it away would have done the trick. Apparently not. Look at this poor fan. With all the dusty stuff when you're sanding Yeesh. yeah i gotta clean more often here apparently or the same as i used to clean every time i finish a job because it's getting 
a little nasty nasty uh but yeah right now i'm gonna go ahead and quit sweeping and quit doing all that because it's windy outside a little bit so it's bringing all the leaves and dust inside anyway so i'm gonna wait until it comes down outside and then start sweeping uh, most likely gonna be off camera uh, we did get a new fan. I don't know if I told you guys about that guy right there. Uh, but yeah, we got to take those two doors out of here. Uh, we no longer need them. Uh, that's from our OBS project. That's our Honda project. Uh, both of those have been, are, are gone. We don't longer have those, so we got to get rid of them. Uh, I think that's from the Honda project as well. Still good metal, but we're not going to use it anyway. So probably just going to scrap it. Um, and yeah. Um, I do have leftovers of that Honda lights. That Honda is gone too. Uh, I don't know if I should post them back up or clean them, clear coat them, make them look better, and then post them up. Maybe that's what we're going to do. And likewise for the OBS rear lights, uh, we still have those. We haven't done nothing with it, nothing with the seat. There's a lot of stuff we haven't got too. But now that we don't longer, you know, I don't even know where to put this, some of this stuff anymore. I do have to take my own paint gun to the paint booth and my own cups so i have everything in the box right here ready to go i wouldn't have anything ready i do have spare paint they don't let me throw it away at their shop so i had to bring it back home uh that kind of sucks so i'm gonna have to see uh if i can just you know pay them to throw it away there or what other than that i mean there's a lot of stuff that i don't know where to put at yet um have to reorganize since we're not doing any painting here just body work and uh welding and things like that you know uh but yeah that's why uh, it would be nice to have a paint booth here with us so that way we can do everything in one place oh man we have a lot of parts to take care of i don't even know what i'm gonna do with half of these parts started to clean the garage and apparently i got way too many things that over there is an exhaust from a camaro yeah that thing been gone for ages like five years now i think and uh yeah but right now we're gonna get the stuff that's most fresh which is gonna be the panel from the honda tiburon i'm gonna see if anybody needs a rear glass if not we're just gonna junk that thing um scrap it pretty much uh same goes for the uh, hood right there and all that stuff i got i'm getting ready to load them up and throw them away too much stuff that i don't need i don't even know what this is for uh, to be honest, I think it was from my Nissan Rogue, maybe. Um, gotta shred that to pieces, throw it away as well. Alright guys, now that we got everything clean in there, we're gonna go ahead and start with this project right here. Yes sir. <clears throat> Looks like somebody at the mall decided to uh, either drag their car through it. Uh, we have already washed it, that's why it looks so clean. But yeah, they dragged their car into it or something. I'm not sure. Um, we're going to see if those will come off. If not, we're going to have to start repainting both doors and the quarter panel. Uh, quarter panel does seem to be damaged very severe uh, or slightly. Um, I mean, we do have a gap here. I can put my fingers through that gap. Look at that. Yep. And then it did push in a little right there on the second uh, eyebrow, I want to say. I don't know what they call but right here it's a job but tedious job because you know it's in the worst place ever so we're gonna see how we can follow this line here and get away with it if not we're gonna have to um, make it look good and like new again so but yeah we're gonna go ahead and uh pull it from here see what happens and um start taking it all out and uh hopefully it lines up the door doesn't look as much damage uh, it does have a crisp right here so we're going to go ahead and uh, pick this back up, make it look good, and go from there. Um, other than that, uh, maybe it'll have some uh, indentations over here. We'll definitely look at it under the, the light and see what we can find. But we got to get a fix. I'm just thankful this quarter panel ends right here. Most cars, they keep going all the way. So this one ends right there. So that's that's a plus for us. Uh, we just got to cover all this stuff. And then we're even going to touch all this with paint. It's going to be down there. So all this is just going to be clear coat. So we should be fine. We shouldn't worry about uh, paint match. Oh, even though that does look a little darker than this one anyways. I'm just thinking is the... How they throw the glitters. The, the... What's it called? Metal. The metal flakes. 
since they take those off and then paint this differently that's probably why but plastic always looks a little darker than um, the rest of the aluminum parts or metal parts but yeah let's go ahead and get started
Alrighty guys, and with that, we have pulled the hit and we have thrown the primer. We just got it wet sand, fill in the pinholes. Uh, but yeah, we got our line, our edge. It is where it needs to be. Um, all done. And just in time, because it's nighttime. Time to go take a shower and get ready for bed. Alrighty guys, so we got this whole thing situated. We're about to um, clean it up. Um, looks like we dirty the tire, moving it back and forth from the paint booth, but we're good. Um, it came out good, to be honest. The only thing we didn't mess with was the little scrape right here that the door has, because um, I didn't want to paint the whole damn door over that. So I'm just gonna have to live with that. Other than that, I mean, our fist doesn't even fit anymore through the back. I don't know if you guys remember that our fist was fitting through the back all the way. Now we can't even get our fingers in there. Uh, we can still push the door a little bit more in, but I don't want to damage it anymore, so it's not going to bug me. No air comes in. Uh, we brought it driving from the paint booth on the freeway, and no air was going. I didn't hear anything uh, different from last time. So, yeah, we pretty much are done with it. We're going to be good. And here's the inside of the car right there. Um, you guys can see so cleaned out look at that clean good matchup paint matched up really really well We didn't had to uh, miss anything in or you know make it uh, Where we had to do it. Uh, we did cut right. Where is it? Uh, oh right there. We got the cut right here. We did the cut right there guys um, And then it comes down to this line right here. You can't even see where we cut it we use this fabric or the line right here in here the indentation to our advantage um you can semi see that but if you're not even looking for that thing you wouldn't even know it's there look at that sheesh i'm telling you this pain was on point on point guys but yeah other than that uh we didn't want to mess with the door you can barely see that indentation there oh wait that's not even indentation that's the floor never mind guys that's the line on the floor uh i guess because there was one in there, but I guess it's just me being paranoid. Pa paranoid. I can't even say the word. Panicking and stuff. But yeah, we cleaned them off. We buffed them out. Um, they clean up pretty good. Um, yeah. So, all right. Time to start driving us some mo. I guess. But yes, guys. Uh, that was an easy fix. 
Oh, and then uh, we had some spare time because, uh, you know, the paint booth was uh, taken for like two, two, three hours before we took the car. So I kind of did something. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, I did advise you we're going to clean the headlights. Um, this headlights right here from our old Honda. So this is the before light right here, guys. Um, it's all foggy and, uh, you know, we just it's just a spare light and we wanted to sell them. So I cleaned them up and throw some clear on this one. Look at that. Mm-hmm. That was our test subject right there, guys. This thing looks brand new. So, yep, that one's next. And then we'll go ahead and post them up like that. I'm pretty sure I'll have a better chance selling them this way than that way right there. So, yeah. But yeah, guys, uh, we just got back from the paint booth this morning. Uh, we got to pick all this up. I did wash my gun down there, but I'm going to go ahead and take it apart in here. Uh, we got most of our stuff in the table at the moment. We had to take all this stuff with us because they don't supply us with anything down there, obviously. Um, just the perks of having to take everything to the paint booth. It's crazy. And I think I forgot my box at the paint booth. That's why everything's everywhere. It's crazy. It's been a busy morning, uh, busy day. But yeah. I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish cleaning this thing up, buckling it up, and um, get it ready to take it out in the weekend. Fuga. You're ready now. I'm going to clean it with this. Get it shining again. Alrighty guys, well thank you very much for watching. That's gonna be it for this video. Definitely appreciate every single one of you. I am sweating, tired, but I'm feeling way better guys. I am glad we're past the uh, fever sickness thing. I don't know what it was, but I'm glad to be back at the shop. I'm glad to uh, start catching up with all this work because we got a lot of work to do today and we got plenty of more. Let me give you guys a sneak peek of what's next. All right, guys, but with all that, definitely appreciate all your support. Um, thank you very much for joining the team, and I appreciate you being here with us today. Uh, thank you for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, please uh, give it a like and uh, comment down below what you think. I definitely appreciate you guys. Thank you very much for everything. Uh, thank you for your support. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, uh, like, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Nos miramos. Adios.